When it comes to problems with diesel trucks, boost leaks are pretty high up there on the list of most often and biggest pain in the butt. A lot of trucks come through this shop and about 85% of them have boost leaks. How do I know? Because I make my techs test every single truck that comes through the shop for any routine maintenance. It's just one of those things that you need to do to make sure the truck is running right. If you don't do it, you risk the customer experiencing excessive smoke, high EGTs, poor drivability, basically not getting what they paid for from tuning. Or even on a stock truck, you can have poor performance. Anytime we have those symptoms that I just listed, we start with a boost test. And a boost test starts at the front of the turbocharger. The reason we start at the front of the turbocharger is because we want to test that whole charge air system. A leak in a turbocharging system can occur anywhere from the compressor cover all the way to the cylinder head. The only way to get that whole system in the test is to start in front of the compressor cover. The problem with the other boost testers on the market is <laughs> many fold. It starts with the gauge. So usually they don't use a nice gauge. The gauge fails after you drop it or shut it under the hood once or twice, and then you can't tell what pressure you're charging the system up to. A lot of times they don't have a good regulator. When you don't have a good regulator, you have a dangerous situation where you can overpressurize the boost tester and it ends up flying across the shop and hitting your favorite tech, or if you're lucky, your least favorite tech. A lot of the kits are incomplete, meaning they don't have all the boots that you need, they don't have all the clamps that you need, so you end up spending 20 minutes of your day or more fishing through buckets of miscellaneous clamps and silicone hoses to try and piece something together to fit right. Okay, that's no fun. We want to have high quality hardware that adapts to the face of the turbocharger. None of the other kits out there adapt to the face of our VVT turbochargers. Most of the other kits out there don't adapt to any face of any turbochargers. They just go to the discharge hose off the compressor cover. When you do that, you bypass the compressor cover. Leaks can form in the compressor cover. We see it. It's important to test the compressor cover. For that reason, we have our kit, which matches right up to the face of the compressor cover, gives a 100% leak-proof seal with an O-ring, with the right clamping hardware, with the torque spec printed on the front of the billet piece that you're using. How much better does that get? This is the best boost test kit on the market for these light-duty diesel trucks that we support. Let's take a look at what's in the kit. So every kit you get from us is going to have an adapter for the face of the turbocharger. That's gonna be this aluminum slug, on the slug is going to be printed the torque spec and what RPO or what truck this kit adapts to. From there, each one's going to have the adapter nipple, each one's going to have a T-bolt clamp, the appropriate adapter size silicone boot for ply in order to get you onto that compressor cover, and then the clamp to get you on the compressor cover. Again, T-bolt, heavy duty stuff. The regulator setup. This is the best regulator I could find. It's going to last. Keep it in your box for 10 years, it'll still work. Liquid filled gauge shockproof bezel, high quality stuff. It's important to have regulated air because there's some times where you want to keep the system at 10 or 20 PSI so you can hear the leak, crawl around the truck and hear the hissing without having somebody monkey the, or throttle the gauge to try and keep you at the right pressure. It turns boost testing into a one man job. You can buy these a la carte depending on which RPO or which diesel vehicle you're working on. So we have one for the LB7 intake air horn, one for the whole set, Roxor, LWN, the 2.8 liter Duramax. We even have them for the EcoBoost. If you're on an L5P, you got a slug to get to the face of the turbocharger. Here's the VVT adapter for the uh, LLY, and then we have one as well for the LML. Nobody else on the market has an adapter to get right to the face of the VVT turbochargers. It's important to do that. You may have a leak in the O-ring, you may have a cracked cover, you may have some bolts loose. You never know what you might have going on with the compressor cover. Also, it's nice to test the discharge from the compressor into the charge air system. If you take that boot on and off to boost test, you're not gonna be able to test that connection. We have one for the face of the LB7, so we even have the three Allen key bolts in a nice secure holding spot. So you can keep those Allen keys or Allen bolts in the right spot so you can adapt to the face of the turbo. This one doesn't have it in there, but it's gonna have an O-ring and keep you sealed up right to the face of the turbocharger. Make sure you have a leak proof seal so that all the air you're testing with can be heard hissing out of the charge air system in the appropriate spot you need to fix. Obviously, I'm excited about these kits. Anytime we can help make your truck run better and more consistently, that's something I wanna be a part of. We're always adding more models, supporting more vehicles with these kits. If you wanna learn more, head to our website or watch the other videos on the Duramax Tuner Boost Testers. I'm Nick Pregnitz. Thanks for watching.